Hello, my name is Hans George Campbell, and tonight I wanted to show you guys this SCART to HDMI adapter and converter that I bought for use with my Commodore Amiga computers. Let's open up this box. See what's inside, shall we? Okay. All right. Um, so let me pull the box over here. We got. Well, I'll put the box over here. <laughs> Not much in the box, so I don't think this is going to take too long. All right, so <clears throat> it's well packaged. Wow, this thing is really well packaged. <laughs> Very well packaged. Okay, before I show you the adapter, well, here's the instructions. Um, Okay, it's a SCART to HDMI, well, SCART HDMI to HDMI converter, user manual. Uh, I'll put a lot like this that you can read it. I'll zoom in so you can read it. Okay, so let me zoom in. Hopefully you, you'll be able to read that. Yeah, I need to be able to read that. I'll zoom in a little bit more, you know. All right. Looking good. Okay. Hopefully you can read that. You can pause the video if you want to read that. Also, we got um, that there for your reading and viewing pleasure. Hopefully, there's not any glare on it on the paperwork. Yikes. Okay. Yeah, I mainly bought this for use with my Amiga 1200 computer because I'm going to have it hooked up to like a small um, LCD display, well, a TV that has HDMI input. Uh, so it doesn't take up as much desk space for my um, when I when I do my MIDI music and stuff and soundtrack or stuff like that. But I don't know. We'll see. Because right now I have it hooked up to a Commodore 1084S monitor. You know, it's one of the high quality ones that were made in Japan by Hitachi. It's in a 1080 style case. It's a really nice monitor, and all the games and stuff and the Amiga's workbench and stuff looks really nice on that CRT display. But I thought that it would be a good idea to to invest in one of these. I never owned one, and I'm curious to see what it looks like. You know, because I I think this also does upscaling. So it'll upscale, or it should upscale the Amiga's low resolution graphics to a higher resolution that should look okay on an, on an HD TV. You know, it's going to be a 32 inch. HDTV, so it should look pretty good. All right, so there's that. And I'm going to show the power adapter first, and then I'll show the actual unit. Okay. So this looks like your standard 5-volt um, power brick, 5-volt power adapter. Uh, luckily, it is for the United States. It appears to see, let me uh, zoom out a little bit. I forgot I had it zoomed in, zoomed in so much. 
zoom out maybe just a little bit more. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. There's there's the LED for your power indicator, and I think it's um, um I think it's just a standard five volt power brick, five volt two amps, you know. Uh, let me use my magnifying glass because I can't read that small print. Yeah, it's um, your standard five volts DC one amp, so it's a it's one amp. Well, one app is probably all this converter needs, but anyway, there's your power, the power supply that comes with that. All right, now to the actual um, converter. Yeah, I've been wanting to get one of these because I've heard a lot about these on YouTube. And I've seen a lot of people use these and they swear by these things so I figured well okay I want to get me one of these HD video converter SCART HDMI to HDMI 720p and 1080p so it does apparently upscale does upscaling okay and there's I guess that would be the rear because these are your inputs you know so this would be the rear okay there's your HDMI input. Okay, this is your SCART input. And of course your DC 5 volts plugs into there. Okay. And I don't know why it's got these threaded mounting holes right here. It's got that on both sides. These threaded mounting holes. And there is the actual front of the unit. So we got your power LED. You have HDMI output, okay. You have audio. I don't know if that's. I think that's out. I'm not sure if that's out or. I think that's output. I think this is coax audio out. But it looks like it's color composite video out. I don't know. I have to read the instructions on that. Okay, and then this is your switch. I believe this allows you to switch between the SCAR connector and the um, the HDMI connector. Okay, and this switch here switches it from 720p to 1080p. And another cool feature about this is that this switch here switches it from PAL to NTSC. Okay, so that's a nice feature because what I've noticed is that almost all of your trackers were programmed for PAL. Because when you display them, like Sound Tracker or Noise Tracker or Pro Tracker or whatever, when you try to display those or run those on an NTSC system with an NTSC monitor, okay, it cuts uh, the lower part of the screen off. You can't see the whole thing. But when you switch it in PAL mode, you can. Okay, so by switching this to PAL mode, I should be able to see the entire sound tracker screen or, or whatever tracker program I'm using. I should be able to see the whole thing by pressing that button there, the PAL mode. You know, but my games and stuff and my workbench and everything is set up in NTSC mode. So that's nice to have that switch. You know. But there you go. I thought I'd show you guys this this adapter. I heard so much about it, and I thought I'd I thought I'd buy one, you know, for use with my own Amiga 1200. I guess you can use this with any Amiga computer. You know, you just have to get yourself um, a 23-pin RGB to SCART cable, and I I'm probably gonna make my own, and I'll I'll do that underneath the camera. I'll show you guys how to make one of those cables. But I'm going to make mine without audio. I'm not going to have the audio as part of the cable. Because I want to have the audio out from the Amiga computer going directly into an integrated amplifier and output to some nice speakers, you know, for, for that, nice, that nice bass, you know. That, 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 it just sounds better when you have the audio output from the Amiga going into an integrated amplifier and with some nice speakers hooked up to it. It just sounds better. You know, so yeah. So the cable, 
the RGB, Amiga RGB to SCAR cable should be a lot easier to make. The only thing is, I'm not sure about what kind of resistors I should use in the cable and where I should put those resistors, what value resistors should I use. So if any of you guys know about that, please leave you know a comment in the comment section. But yeah, once I find out all the information that I need as far as how to make one of these cables, I will actually sit down out here in the shop and I will build one of those cables underneath the camera so that you guys can watch me. And if you want to build your own um, Amiga RGB to SCAR cable to for use with one of these, you know, you can build one yourself. It's not that hard to do. All right. Anyway, that's that. Um, I just thought I'd show you guys this um, video converter that I bought, mainly for use with my Amiga 1200 computer. Uh, my name is Hans George Campbell, and until next time...